Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Krosama, and here we have today is something a little special. It is a P Bandai kit for once. I don't really review these too often, uh, but this is one that came out, I believe, last year, but it is the Master Grade Build Divers Hyakushiki Crash from the GBWC World Challenge series. Now, I'm pretty sure that is a manga adaptation, which is also a spinoff. I uh, haven't really got into uh, any of the lore of that at all, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and brush up my knowledge on it before the review. But without further ado, let's take a look at the box. So overall, the box is super nice. Like, it's very plain, but these GBWC World Challenge uh, P Bandai kits have been very unique in terms of like their uh, box art. So instead of just having the mobile suit right there in front, they normally have been just kind of like cool illustrations right there on the front. So all you really have is just, you know, some, what I'm assuming is kanji. Um, and then the Hyakushiki crash right there in the middle was like pretty much on like a chalkboard all this like nice um, Characters in the background, but you know, hey, it's very plain, but I think it's really unique So I was wrong when I said I thought it came out in 2018 apparently it came out in 2019 So I think it might have been around April time frame and nothing really unique on the side of the box Just pretty much the same as the front so for price point, I did pay, I believe, around $90 to $100 for this. Uh, and I think when it first came out, it was probably around like the $65 to $70 price point. So either way, whether you got it from the P Bandai website or you're getting it from a re uh, reseller, you're going to be paying quite top premium dollar for this kit. But you know what? I do believe once it's all snapped together, it is going to look gorgeous. So we're going to start with the runners that are not the 2.0 Hyakushiki. Now the one thing I'm kind of confused on is, so they say Hyakushiki right there, but then on the back end it's saying Bandai 2016. So I'm a little bit confused on that if, you know, this was actually created in 2016, but, you know, something happened and they just kind of put it on the backlog for a little while. Now you are going to get runner I1 and I2, I2 just being a smaller component of I1. But it's going to be in a nice kind of like a, almost like a gunmetal look. So this is going to be mostly just all inner frame, looking really good. It's going to have some nice surface detail and little inner detail right there. Uh, but yeah, overall pretty nice looking inner frame. And this is going to be runner J1, J2, so J2 just being a smaller component. Uh, but this is going to be in a fairly glossy black. Uh, it's a really dark black though, so not like almost like a navy blue. This is pure black, so I love this. I love the looks of it. You're gonna have the uh, backpack little, you know, like wings right here or little fins, and then you're gonna have what I assume is either the thrusters or like a fuel tank for the backpack, um, and then just over here you're gonna have parts for the body. And here's runner K1, K2, so K2 just being a smaller component. Uh, this is going to be a lighter black color than the black you've seen previously. Uh, still fairly glossy. I, I mean, I don't really like the gloss kind of look, so I'm probably going to use a matte top coat just to kind of like bring that down. Um, I don't know, I just I don't really like shiny suits that much. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have a lot of the outer armor and just... It's all random, random components here and there. It looks like it's gonna be parts maybe for the ankle or uh, and yeah, it looks like it's gonna be parts for like the leg. Uh, you got the front skirts, you got more parts for the leg down here. So quite uh, sporadic in terms of what armor is gonna be on this runner, but you are gonna have some nice little like areas for panel lining if you wanna you know, do so. I'm not really too sure what color I'm gonna go with, but you know, you're definitely gonna have some areas for panel lining. And that's gonna be runner L1, L2, so this is gonna be the only white runners in the actual kit. Uh, these are pretty nice though. You're gonna have the thrusters right here and just you know, random white parts like the legs and feet and all that. So looks pretty good. Uh, you're gonna have some piping right here on the sides. Uh, but yeah, overall just gonna be some white runners and that's it. And as you're gonna have is runner M1, M2. Uh, so this one is just going to have some extra little parts right down here. It looks like it's gonna be for the face, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much gonna be in that like lighter black uh, color, if I'm not mistaken. Looks pretty good though. You're gonna have some nice little etched in details for the arm as well as the leg. You got some parts for the shoulders right up here. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, once again, more panel lining opportunities for you. Now it's super odd that you're gonna have runners N1, N2, but instead of it saying 2016 like the previous one, this one is actually gonna say Bandai Spirits 2018. 
So I'm even more confused, like, are these, were they, were they created at random times? Because they are going to be saying the Hyakushiki right here in the front. Um, but I don't know. I, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. But yeah, there's going to be some nice little level of uh, details inside the inner frame here. Not too sure how much of this is actually going to be able to be shown through the kit itself. Uh, but if you do have the opportunity to paint this and they can, you know, show through, then, you know, definitely go ahead and do that. Next you're going to have is going to be runner 01, so this is going to be parts for the shield that also attach to the weapon. Uh, it's going to be more in a gray, kind of like a light gun metal, uh, really glossy though, but yeah, it looks really good. Next is going to be Q3, this is going to be more for the actual abdominal and uh, waist parts. Uh, and it's going to have like that little spinal kind of effects right there. Looks really good overall though. And here is going to be one of the weapon units, so it looks like it's just going to be the basic beam rifle. Uh, looking at it though, I'm not too certain if this is the one that's going to be the main weapon for it. It, it could be. Uh, I'm just not really understanding what kit this came from. So if y'all want to help a brother out and uh, take a look at that and just let me know what kit this actually came from. But I couldn't, I, I can't really think of where it came from to be honest. Now from here on out, you're gonna get all these runners that are from the Hyakushiki 2.0. Uh, so of course, these runners came out in 2015. What a beautiful year for Gunpla that was. Uh, but just gonna be more inner frame parts. And a lot of these, you'll see in the manual, are gonna be X'd out because you're just not using a lot of the parts from the Hyakushiki because it's just supplying its own inner frame parts as well as armor. But yeah, this is gonna be in that nice little gunmetal look. And here we have his runner A, so it's going to be a mix of colors. You're going to have some white right here, some black, some kind of like silver, and as well as the clear green for the head unit. And you get some double Ds right here, so going to be in a more of a gunmetal kind of look, once again for the inner frame, but not too certain on what you're going to be using uh, for the actual kit itself. Now I did lie whenever I said that the previous runners were the only white runners in the actual kit. Then you're going to have two more. These are going to be just runner E. Uh, pretty nice. I don't I don't see much of this being used to be honest, but you're probably just going to borrow some parts here and there. Maybe these pipings as well. Then you can have two runner C's. Once again, some of that gun metal for the inner frame. Uh, but yeah, really good overall. Next you're going to have is two runner G's. So this is going to be in that lighter black tone, uh, but looks good overall. No issues with uh, you know these Hakushiki parts. Overall, the Hakushiki is a very solid build. So I'm really expecting the same level of quality with uh, this kit, if not better. So pretty happy to see this. But I know like some of these wing units are just not going to be used because it's supplying its own wing units. Uh, probably these, you know, definitely the shoulders are not going to be used. So I don't really know how much of this in particular runner is going to be utilized. And the last main runner is going to be runner F. So I mean, obviously you're not using both these uh, back skirts. You're probably just going to be using these uh, leg units. Not really too sure what else. You got some parts down here. So maybe these front skirts. Uh, but yeah, once again, that kind of more light color, black, super glossy. I'm, I'm just not feeling the gloss. I uh, definitely want to tone that down. But yeah, this is the last of the main runners. You also get a set of beam sabers, poly cap sheet, a beautiful set of water slide decals. So these are 100% going to be utilized. Uh, I'm not going to be using these because I'm, I'm just painting it myself, to be honest. Uh, but all these nice little decals, I'm going to use every single one of these. And just take a look at that beautiful manual. So front cover art is really nice. Now inside here, as you can see, a lot of these parts are just going to be X'd out. So yeah, uh, you're gonna have a lot of plastic left over. So I mean, maybe if you want to uh, utilize it on your own Hyakushiki, or if you want to just kind of like do something else with it, you definitely can. Uh, but the construction of this should be fairly straightforward and pretty easy. So. Not really too much in terms of uh, a lot of accessories or bulk. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty big suit just because UC suits are fairly large. Here's your little color guide right there as well. And then, all, you know, of course, you're gonna have all your little water slides. Not really too many, to be honest. Uh, but it's looking so, so beautiful in that final finish build. So, can't wait to get mine all built up. Gonna do some like details and stuff on it. Not a full painted build because. I'm still working on this not just time, but yeah, this kid is going to get worked on a little bit just so that we can have a little bit more shelf presence. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate you for watching and stay tuned for not only the review of this kit, but also the live streams. So I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye bye.